I wasn't aware about the tabletop simulator getting LGBT incident until somehow after 2022, January 9th, I still announced the recent case. Before the video stops, I have to admit that I don't really like the LGBT community, but doesn't mean I despise them just because of the opinion at all. After getting banned from TTS Discord server for voicing my concern, I have decided to look into what happened in Twitter. Instantly, shit is getting real. According to the official statement, they had defaulted a team for LGBT-oriented development. Now let's see how the Twitter community is talking. So this reply claims that they had been using TTS to prototype their games. Then I have decided to look into his profile and see what happens. At the moment, I saw that page as an actual typical tech game developer. But scrolling down a bit further, I saw almost nothing about their prototypes using Tabletop Simulator after April 2021, which at least they barely post any progress about those using Tabletop Simulator. Now comes with the one who protested through us TTS for being banned. Before digging to their tweets, let's see the replies too. First, we straight into this page's activity before the time it began to shit TTS. Again, if purely based on tweets, although his her passion on various games are legit, I saw almost nothing about TTS as of 2021 November. Because when it started, you think that you are innocent to this, but according to my observation, I rather saw that the global chat was being vandalized in the name of LGBTQs. Indeed, that ended up them in fury, but now see what happened later. Very explicit that she or he is not the only one doing it, but for in this. In contest, this global chat is mostly for you to discuss anything around table games of an interest outside it. She or he began to protest again as soon as they realized the ban. Moving on, others have begun to complain about that incident. He or she instead continuing to voice why gay isn't family friendly before Cherry took the decision to execute the ban. To me, LGBTQ is a sensitive, yes, normal topic, but based on the records I could find, they were literally occupying the chats from other players to normally discuss.
Uh, according to the profiles I have gone through, there are certain people who voiced their anger had little to no knowledge of what TTS is. Those who participated in that I am giving failed to realize that a global chat was impacted despite moderators started to investigate that. As such, it may have been under their coordination. The leading developer of Tabletop Simulator, who is Cherry, is then being cancelled and they even want them to withdraw from it completely, simply because of this happening. Tabletop Simulator official was forced to devote a $10,000 fund exclusively for LGBTQ-oriented games. Further, if orders start to avoid LGBTQ disfists or similar cases, then this is very likely that they are simply attention seekers and raising awareness of LGBTQ is never their actual goal.